It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. On TikTok, there's a user that's called Carolyn Pops, and she is basically attacking anime fans. And so without further hesitation, let's respond to the video. Are adults really watching anime? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are we? I mean, I mean, I'm not being a bully. I know, like, I mean completely unironically and not just for the aesthetics and not just a little bit for the vibe. Like, are we really watching it? Because I, I think I got a lot to learn because are you alone and you put it on and you have a college degree and everything and you're, you're just like, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I got God bless your heart. First and foremost, it's very important to state that animation is not simply a genre that's aimed towards little kids. Music has variations of genres and different kind of things that are aimed for different audiences. There are some music that's aimed for everybody. There are some music that are aimed towards kids, some that aim for teenagers, and some that are aimed for adults. It's the same thing for video games. There are some games that are aimed for everybody. There are some games that are aimed for kids, some for teenagers, and some for mature audiences. It's the same thing for animation. There are some animation that are specifically made for kids. There are some animation that are specifically made for teenagers, and some animation that are specifically aimed for adults. It's not fair to actually say, well you see, well, because Family Guy is animation, therefore animation is made for, like, you know, kids, that would be stupid of me to say that. Because just because something is animated doesn't mean that the age demographic actually matched up with the animation. Her next point was, how could it be people with college degrees that want to watch anime? Now, as I speak right now and recording this video, there are plenty and plenty and plenty of college courses right now that are specifically talking about animation, specifically Japanese animation. And so it's actually something that you can actually study on your free time with your tuition about how Japanese animation influences societies. Now I found the linking page of the content creator for that video and it turns out that the content creator of that TikTok video once worked at Nickelodeon. Since she used to work at Nickelodeon, I will only presume that she knows the process for animation. You need animators to draw everything. You need voice actors. You need a marketing team. You need to, of course, edit the whole entire animation. All the stuff that happened between animation is done by adults for other people to enjoy and consume. And so, one of the biggest animations for Nickelodeon so far, to my knowledge, was the Avatar series. And she would probably know better to say that anime is for kids when something like Avatar is praised by everybody, no matter their age range, because of the story and because it appeals to everybody else. The whole entire video just reeks of the typical high school bully that does not grow up. Ha 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 ha, you like anime, you like anime. Grow up. Just please, grow up. If people are not hurting you in any way or form, what's it to you if they like anime? It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I won't <laughs> trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.